YM F1H to a World Championship return to India for the crucial fifth round of the 2018 season, kicking off the final free race run-in to year-end and title honors with the UIM F1H to a Grand Prix of India. The Indian state of Andhra Pradesh hosted its first major international sporting event as Amaravati welcomed the UIM F1H Duo Tour to the banks of the Krishna River. Amaravati, which means place of immortals, is the de facto people's capital of Andhra Pradesh and it is an area steeped in history with a rich cultural and religious heritage. But Amaravati is also a modern city of the future with a world-class infrastructure, state-of-the-art public transport system, a highly efficient road network, high-speed railway, a world-class international airport, and a booming waterway trade system, making this one of the most dynamic and futuristic cities in South Asia. Located on the banks of the mighty 1,400-kilometer Krishna River, the greenfield city of Amaravati is also one of the most verdant, ecologically balanced, and environmentally sustainable cities in India, a place that is intricately connected with the waters of the Krishna, upon which the UIM F1H2 a Grand Prix of India will be raced, as Amaravati welcomes one of the world's most exciting marine motorsports to an emerging Indian oasis that perfectly blends modern futurism with a rich and ancient heritage. 19 drivers from nine teams would compete at the UIM F1H20 Grand Prix of India, participating in a boat parade as they greeted locals at the start of the Grand Prix weekend. As crowds flocked to the shores of the Krishna, they got to see close up their own Team Amaravati, led by veteran F1H20 multiple Grand Prix winner Jonas Anderson and teammate Eric Eden, who are sponsored by the Andhra Pradesh Tourism Development Corporation. I'm really, really happy for this and it's a great opportunity to work with these great people and uh, for the future I think it can be very great. Yeah, for sure we have a pressure, but I mean, uh, we have done this many times and it's just go out and do the maximum we can do and see how far we can go. As spectators took photos with Team Amaravati, those who were brave enough also got a chance to take a spin in the F1H20 two-seater, not for the faint-hearted. Now let's see what happened in the previous round. Agile Grand Prix of Xiangyang in China in round four. All eyes were on Team Abu Dhabi, who dominated the team standings and whose current lineup of drivers had won all three Grand Prix. Xiangyang proved no exception as BRM qualifying winner and pole sitter Sean Torrente led proceedings from the very start with his teammates Thani Alkamzi and Eric Stark in second and third place. The triumvirate unimpeded as they rocked to yet another Team Abu Dhabi 1-2-3 podium shutdown. Coming in fourth was Team Amaravati's five-time Grand Prix winner Jonas Anderson, who despite being passed early by Al Kamzi, managed to hold on to fourth, earning crucial points for Team Amaravati, with Philip Schiap coming in fifth. In the world standings leading up to the Grand Prix of India, Tani Al Kamzi led on 54 points, with just two points separating his second and third place teammates, Stark and Torrente. Nine teams competing at the Grand Prix of India in Amaravati, the team to beat was no doubt Team Abu Dhabi, who were 42 points. <laughs> oh
clear atop the world team standings after round four and whose three racers led the world driver standings. Sean Torrente had two Grand Prix wins going into Amaravati, having won in Portugal in round one and the last event in China. Sitting third in the driver's standings, he's closer than ever to his dream of finally winning an F1 H2O World Championship, but his biggest rivals are his own teammates. It's amazing, it's really good. We share information, we work hard together, even in the testing. And then we just decided that when we get to the race, you know, whoever wins, wins. We can't really control everything. We can only control our own boat. So we, we share information and, and we try to keep the good spirit because really the, the number one goal is for Abu Dhabi to be in the top. And that's, that's our job first. And then if, if it happens to be me that wins or Eric or Tani, that's what happens. But as long as an Abu Dhabi boat is at the top, that's really the goal and the point. Eric Stark won the two other Grand Prix in 2018 with back-to-back -back victories in London and Evian. And he's second in the world standings, just one point ahead of Torrente and one point behind current world standings leader, Dani Alcamzi, who has stood out with his consistency this season, placing runner-up in three of four Grand Prix. If anyone's going to put a wrench in the well-oiled Team Abu Dhabi machine, it would be CTIC F1 Shenzhen China team. With three-time world champion Philip Schiap and his teammate Peter Marin, the two fifth and fourth in the world standings going into Amaravati, with the CTIC team second in the world team standings on 64 points. Shiop's hopes for a fourth world title may look slim going into round five, but with three rounds and 60 points up for grabs, anything was possible. In the beginning of the season, it is good, but in Avion we make a very bad result. And in the Chinese race, we are on a good, uh, with a good setup, but um, Abu Dhabi is very strong and uh, we lose a lot of points. And now in India, we have no, no choice. We do win the race. The team to look out for in India is local favorites, Team Amaravati, who are third in the team standings going into round five and whose drivers have both proven themselves capable of racing in the top level of F1 H2O. <laughs> Veteran Jonas Anderson is a multiple Grand Prix winner, and young Eric Eden's results have improved with each season. A perfect mix of experience and youth, of past glories and future promise. Dubai Outfit Victory Team, led by four-time world champion Scott Gilman, have had a difficult year. Ahmed al Hamili has consistently finished in the top 10, earning points in all races in 2018, but was unable to break the top five in any of those races. Al Hamli's year has been better than his teammates, however, as defending and four-time world champion Alex Carella victory team has had a dismal time of it, unable to finish the last three races after coming in fourth in the first round, and his chances of defending the world title have all but evaporated. Now it's one month we are testing in Dubai, we, we are trying our best, we are, uh, we are, I think we, we work very good and now the team is more close. Hopefully we can take uh, good point in this race and come back a uh, little by little. Another UAE-based outfit, Emirates Racing Team, is led by the only female F1 H2O Grand Prix winner, Marit Stromoy of Norway, a fierce and experienced competitor who knows how to take the fight to her rivals. She's proven herself capable of winning once. Can she do it again in India? Her teammate, Bartek Marshalek, is also on an upward graph. Also competing in India, F1 Atlantic team with two excellent drivers, Duarte Benevente and Grant Trask. Blaze Performance team with 12-time Grand Prix winner Francesco Cantando and his teammate Simone Schuch. Maverick F1 racing with Cedric de Guin and Thai racer Sutipan Sukbongbong. And of course, Mad Croc Baba racing team with two-time world champion Sami Celio and his teammate Philip Roms. Grand Prix of India was raced on a five-pin freshwater circuit on the Krishna River with tricky currents and no right-handers. Of course, it's a very fast course, one of the fastest of the year. And uh, today it's really hot and uh, humid, and so it's very tough to be in the cockpit. Uh, it will be a nice race with a lot of pass because without the yellow, it's possible to pass much more than normal. There's no better, no better feeling than I get uh -huh. There's no better no The BRM official qualifying would be raced over three sessions and determine the starting lineup on the pontoon. When I'm playing with you
versus 12 boats proceed to Q2, where the field is half to six, who have the course to themselves in two laps each in Q3 as they go for their fastest lap in a quest for the all-important pole position. In Q1, it was a dramatic back and forth as all 19 drivers fought to make it into the top 12. No the former regular Q3 contender and 25-time pole position winner, Sammy Celio, fought desperately to get his form back, but he was yet again unable to find the speed he needed to make the Q2 cut. His teammate, Philip Roms, also disappointing. Benavente just squeaked through at the expense of his teammate, Grant Trask, and Marshalik and Cantando also managed to make the cut. But no such luck for Maverick F1 Racing Team, with both Suk Bong Bong and De Guin out in Q1, and also unable to make it into Q2 were Simone Schuft of Blaze and Eric Eden, a surprise there for the Yamadavati driver, but he was hampered by technical issues. His teammate Jonas Anderson, however, flew the Amaravati flag proud, finishing top of the Q1 session ahead of Tani Alkamzi, Eric Stark, and Moritz Stromoy. In Q2, Anderson managed to continue his fine form, racing hard over 13 laps and getting a good time as he just made the Q3 cut, placing sixth just behind Ahmed Al Hamili and Moritz Stromoy, who would also be in Q3. A shocker for Philip Schiap, who couldn't manage higher than 10th, and his teammate Peter Marin also just missing out in 7th. <laughs> Meanwhile, more disappointment for Alex Carella, who finished 8th, with Cantando, Benevente and Marshalek also out in Q2. I have some electric problem, the, the engine didn't start. We need to solve it quickly on the ponton, but I lost the Q2, I need to go back to the tent and find out what's going on. Topping Q2 were the three Team Abu Dhabi drivers, Torrente, who left it late in the session but managed to get into the top three, alongside his teammates Al Kamzi and Eric Stark. Q3, first out will be Jonas Anderson, as crowds held their breath, hoping for a good opening lap time from the Team Amaravati driver. He was fast, 45.22, but would it be enough? Ahmed Al Hamili of Victory Team was out next, and he came very close. 45.23. He misses out on provisional pole by just one hundredth of a second on the Krishna River. Next out, Marit Stromoy. She went all out. Her setup was perfect, trying to wrest provisional pole from her fellow Scandinavian. And just look at that time. She smokes Anderson by half a second. Stromoy now the one to beat with three Team Abu Dhabi drivers left. Excited to see what's happening now, but um, yeah, it was a good, uh, good luck, good luck. First out is Eric Stark. The four-time pole position winner is fast. Can he beat his former teammate Stromoy? 45.00, he can't do it, Stromoy holds on. Next out is Tani Alkamzi. The former world number two and two-time pole position winner gives it all he has, but it's not enough to beat Stromoy or Stark, although he does place ahead of Anderson and Al Hamili. Stromoy is so close now, can she get a second pole position win here and her first since 2011? It depends on one man, Sean Torrente. Torrente was flying out there, tight around the corners, fast down the straights, a stunning final lap, and he was just too fast for Stromoy. Torrente's time of 44.54 naps the American his seventh career pole position and gives him the advantage as he goes for his third Grand Prix win of the year. I feel blessed just to be able to drive the boat and uh, be able to do what I love. And sometimes when it's your day, it's your day. That's all I was doing. Hey, hey. Stromoy spoils the Team Abu Dhabi party, placing second ahead of Stark third, Al Kamzi fourth, Jonas Anderson fifth for Team Amaravati, Al Hamili, Morin, Carella, Cantando, and Shiap completing the top ten. With the day's drama, stress, preparation, and excitement on the Krishna River behind them, teams, drivers, and crew got a chance to unwind as the UIM F1H2O family was welcomed to Amaravati for the first time with a sumptuous and colorful gala dinner.
Race day, the fifth Grand Prix of the year, all eyes on Team Abu Dhabi. The man to beat, Sean Torrente in pole position. Yeah, we have a 700 meter start and then a little 300 meter straightaway and then an 800 and probably 40 meter straightaway to the next corner because we're eliminating the one corner. So we'll test for it this morning. Um, we have a lot of data to look at from tests at home and stuff. So we'll hopefully make the right decision and, and get a good clean start. Moritz Stromoy starts in second position on the pontoon. Could she break the Abu Dhabi hold on the podium in this race? We prove that we are there and have the speed to be, to be on the podium and uh, we'll see what happens today. For former world champion Philip Schiap, it was do or die here if he was to have any hope of adding to his world title tally this year. The crowds gathered by the thousands along the Krishna River as the drivers greeted locals with the parade lap. The starting lineup, Torrente on pole position, Stromoy right beside him in second, then it's Stark and Alkamzi in third and fourth on the start pontoon, beside them Team Amaravati ace Jonas Anderson in fifth, Alhamali sixth, Peter Marin in seventh, Corella eighth, Cantando ninth, Schiap down in tenth ahead of Benevente and Marshalek, Trask thirteenth, Roms fourteenth, Eric Eden starts at the back in eighteenth, and the big absence of Sammy Celio out with engine issues and unable to start the race for the Mad Croc Baba Racing Team. With Celio out, 18 drivers from nine teams line up on the starting pontoon, waiting for the start of the fifth Grand Prix of the year, the first in India in 14 years as Amaravati gets set for the awesome spectacle of an F1 H2O race start. The lights go out, the race is on, Torrente off to a good start. Alcamzi in trouble there as he falls right back. Corella also unable to start. Torrente on the inside lane with Moritz Stromoy falling back after a poor start. As Eric Stark gets past her on the drag race to the commitment buoy, Alcamzi trailing after that starting mishap, but Anderson and Al Hamily up there with the lead boats. They approach the commitment buoy. Torrente using that inside lane advantage well as he gets to the turn in the lead. Stromoy is lagging behind Stark, and there's a collision. Schiap and Benevente crash into each other on the first turn of the race. That will be a yellow flag. Disaster for Philip Schiap. His boat is overturned, his race is over, and so are his chances for a fourth world title this year. Also out of the race is Alex Corella, who breaks down and heads back to the dry pit. A dismal season for the defending world champion in the number one boat. Here's the replay from Duarte Benevente's onboard. Schiap slams into the F1 Atlantic driver's port side and then dramatically spins out and goes over. Benevente is also out of the race, his boat too damaged to continue. The green flag goes up, the race is back on. Sean Torrente leads with clear waters ahead, but there's a major fight right behind him as Moritz Stromoy and Eric Stark go neck and neck in a battle for second position. Into the turn, Stark pushes Stromoy out, but Stromoy is unfazed as she digs her heels in and floors it in that drag race to race buoy number two. Look at that speed. She nudges ahead of Stark, and what a brilliant move as she cuts in front of the Swedish driver, Stromoy at her best, gutsy, determined and brave. Behind the top three boats, more drama as Team Amaravati driver Anderson chases in fourth, followed by Peter Marin of CTIC in fifth, then Thani Alkamzi in sixth, and behind him Francesco Cantando in seventh with Ahmed Alhamali in eighth. Bartek Marshalek is trying to get some speed on the clear waters, catching up with the top nine boats. Bad news for Team Abu Dhabi as Thani Alkamzi's brilliant four race consistency this year comes to an end with a broken engine. The world standings leader is out of the race. I had a problem with the engine before the start in the Bantoon. When I start, no clear. And then I do one lap, the engine not running very well, not good. And so after five laps, Torrente leads by two and a half seconds over Stromoy in second, Stark chasing Stromoy in third, then Anderson fourth, followed by Peter Marin and Francesco Cantando. Eric Eden's rise up the field continues as he takes on Philip Roms, the Swede moving into the top 10 now as he passes the Mad Croc Baba racer and sets his sight on Grant Trask. 
in a fight to enter the top three. Jonas Anderson continues to give chase to Eric Stark, but he in turn is under pressure from fifth place Peter Marin, the French CTIC driver, fourth in the world standings, looking to continue what has been a great year since he debuted on the F1 H2 Tour last year as he flies the CTIC flag solo here after Shiap's crash. In the fight for sixth position, Ahmed Alhamli flying the victory flag as he gives chase to Francesco Cantando, trying to wrest sixth spot back from the Italian 12-time Grand Prix winner. With a string of technical issues this year, can Cantando hold off the blue boat and get his first point since round one in Portimao? Continuing his brilliant climb up the field, Eric Eden zeroes in on F1 Atlantic Australian driver Grant Trask, but Grant Trask keeps his distance from Eden until he too succumbs to mechanical failure and the field is reduced yet further, continuing the string of crashes and breakdowns here in India. Up in the lead, Torrente is looking untouchable, racing like a champ, making no mistakes, not letting up, as he remains aware of the two talented riders on his tail, Stromoy and Stark. Yet another boat is out, it's Stromoy's teammate Bartek Marshalek as the field is reduced even further. Great race so far for Anderson, racing the Team Amaravati and India flag, a five-time Grand Prix winner, solid in fourth, but now able to make a dent in the top three up ahead. The battle continues for second place between Emirates Racing Team's Moritz Stromoy of Norway and her fellow Scandinavian Eric Stark of Sweden. But Stark is unable to catch Stromoy despite a spirited race-long chase. Meanwhile, Sean Torrente is on track for a third Grand Prix win this year, and he can surely sense now that he's the favorite for the world title in 2018, a dream that he has come close to realizing every year, but which has eluded him thus far. Oh no, Anderson's race also ends. The Team Amaravati team principal out just 10 laps from the finish and that puts Peter Marin in fourth. And sure enough, Torrente makes no error. He glides his boat home for a start to finish win for Team Abu Dhabi. What a result, what a victory for him and yet another race win for Team Abu Dhabi with two drivers on the podium. Stromoy, a well-deserved runner-up with that excellent performance for Emirates Racing Team and Eric Stark yet again on the podium. There are the results. Torrente, Stromoy and Stark on the podium in India. Peter Marin continues his great year with another fourth place finish earning nine points for CTIC in the team standings. Contando with his best ever result this year in fifth. Eden is brilliant, rising from 18th to 6th for Team Amaravati as only 10 boats finish the race. Rom 7th, Alhamali 8th, Shuf earning 2 points for Blaze, and Sutipan Sukbongbong with his first F1 H2O point in 10th. In the Drivers' World Championship standings after five rounds, it's Sean Torrente at the top with 72 points, seven points clear of second-placed Eric Stark, Daniel Kamzi dropping to third behind his teammates on 54 points, then Peter Marin solidifying fourth place, five clear of his teammate Shiap in fifth, with Stromoy shooting up to sixth on 26 points, and Eric Eden flying the Amaravati flag in seventh, with Alhamli Anderson Cantando completing the top 10. I did a good race, like I had a very, very good start, but uh, unfortunately I had bad luck with Shiap uh, crashing, so I needed to go back to my third spot. But, uh, you know, finished third, I'm still uh, still in points to win the championship, and, and uh, that's what we're aiming for, and uh, big congrats to both Marit and Sean, they, they really did a fantastic job. Uh, the, the race was good, it was super exciting, uh, I had a bad start from the Jetty, but uh, luckily we went to yellow flag, and uh, from there it was a... It was a thrilling fight between me, Sean, Eric, but in, in the end, I'm um, happy with the second. Yes. <laughs> First, it's amazing to win here in India. I can't believe all the people. It's incredible. There had to be 150,000 people here today, and that's not exaggerating. I was happy to win, but I'm even more happy now to go to my second home in Abu Dhabi 
in the lead of the championship and try to win again. We've had a great season, and I just can't wait to keep going. But for this next week, I can't wait to go home and see my wife and daughter, have Thanksgiving, spend four days at home, and then get ready for Abu Dhabi. In the world team standings, Team Abu Dhabi are head and shoulders in the lead with 126 points. Their nearest rivals, CTIC F1 Shenzhen China on 73 points, with Team Amadavati on track for a possible podium in 2018 in third, just two points ahead of Emirates, Victory in fifth, Maverick sixth, with Blaze Performance, Macroc Baba and F1 Atlantic completing the list. That brings to a close a brilliant first ever UIM F1H to a World Championship Grand Prix in Amaravati. With the Grand Prix of India over, the tour next heads to the United Arab Emirates for the final two rounds, Abu Dhabi for round six, and then the final Grand Prix of the year in Sharjah. See you in the UAE.